Yes. All right, Vice President Harris tonight at the center of mockery yet again after this bizarre moment during a White House meeting earlier today with disability activists where Harris, along with attendees, they went through their pronouns and described what they were wearing. Take a look. Good afternoon. I want to welcome these leaders for coming in to have this very important discussion um, about some of the most pressing issues of our time. Um, I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. Okay, and of course, the day wouldn't be complete without yet another rambling word salad from your ever so articulate vice president. At least she's not giggling. Take a look. The Dobbs decision and the act of the United States Supreme Court to take away a constitutional right that had been recognized from the people of America will impact a lot of people and differently in some situations, and we need to be responsive to these issues and also lift up the voices of all people who will be impacted in the way that they will be impacted. All right, of course, bizarre verbal blunders are the least of Harris's troubles as a new report lays out what we've been telling you from day one, which is that even Democrats are not that impressed with the vice president. According to a new poll of a possible 2024 Democratic primary, Harris polls in sixth place behind Biden, uh, potholed Mayor Pete, uh, Gavin Newsom, and others. And as I laid out on the program last night, you watch, mark my words, here's a prediction, etch it in stone. It's going to be Gavin Newsom will be anointed the new anointed one in the next Democratic Party and media mob darling. Here with reaction, former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, along with Vox News contributor Laura Trump. I, I don't even know where to begin. So, Laura, the first time this ever was brought to my attention, I am a woman, I am wearing a blue suit, okay, is a, a fr a friends of mine had a child go to Brown University about five years ago, and it's orientation day, and then they'd walk around the courtyard and would ask, how would you like to be addressed? And I'm like, what? Never quite he heard about that before. I don't care if people, you know, feel the need that they want to be described a certain way. I'll respect their wishes. But doing it this way, with all the problems this country has, seems a little frivolous to me. Yeah, just when you think that we've hit rock bottom, um, Kamala Harris comes out and shows you that you can actually go lower. There, There is a lower rung to all of it. And, you know, I think a lot of people have asked themselves, are we regressing Sean, as a society in America? Well, here is the answer to that question. Sadly, it feels like, yes, if you watch this video of Kamala Harris, and I think it's just totally insane, and a lot of people look at this and totally roll their eyes, because to your point, Sean, this is what the people in the White House are focusing on, pandering and pronouns. I mean, my goodness, you just had Senator Cruz on talking about the horrific crisis at the southern border. There's the borders are right there. We have people dying every day at the southern border. People being sold like cattle, um, you know, in, into human trafficking. It is a horrific situation. How about the fentanyl epidemic that is killing the youth in America? Kamala Harris is supposed to be heading up the charge for all of that. Obviously, went down to the border one time. Forget about the fact that we have 40-year high inflation. Forget about the high gas prices. Forget about the embarrassments on the world stage and the failures there. This is where our government is putting the effort, and it is really sad. And I'll tell you one thing. If I'm Xi Jinping of China and I'm looking to overtake America as the superpower of the world, and I see a video like this, as absurd as this is, from the vice president of the United States, man, I am pretty sure that I'm on the fast track to overtaking America, and sadly, sooner rather than later. You know, I, I, I guess this will all pan out, Pam, in the election. We have a midterm coming up in November. That'll be the first indication whether or not people are happy with their policies. I don't see how they possibly could. I can't think of, think of a single subject where they've been successful. Um, now there's another level of this, and that is they, they want to teach kids all of this. You know, sometimes... Uh, doctors, they make a guess whether a baby is a boy or a girl. 
That's the type of thing that we've been reading that schools want to teach kids in even first grade, for crying out loud. But yet they can't do reading, writing, math, and science, and they don't know computers very well, and we spend more per capita than any other industrialized country. How does that make sense? It doesn't, Sean. And look what they're putting in our textbooks. You know, in Florida, we found they were putting in our textbooks in elementary school math, critical race theory, sexual gender orientation questions. It was unbelievable in math books in my own state. So those books were removed from the state of Florida. You know, what, what Laura said about what's going on, and by the way, it's not going on in just one or two universities. It's in almost every major liberal university in this country. And I think Kamala Harris is just pandering to the left, as far left as she could get, can go, instead of focusing on the important things that Laura just talked about. You know, I was with Donald Trump all afternoon when he gave his policy speech at America First Policy Institute. You know what she should be worried about? What's happening right here? I'm in D.C. in her own backyard, driving here tonight to the studio. As President Trump said, there are tent cities everywhere. D.C. is a different place than it was two years ago. She should be worried about homeless people, regardless of what their pronoun is. It's really unbelievable that this is happening in our world right now. Our Republican Party, our, our slate of candidates for 2022, they're some of the most diverse we've ever had in this country. We're not talking about that. What we're talking about is uniting our country, and because they're qualified and bringing people together, not having to identify what color blazer you're wearing. That, that, that's absurd to me. You know, we, we have the worst educational system, as I mentioned, yes. Laura, and we pay more than any other industrialized country. We have crime out of control in every big blue state and every town, every city in this country. Defund, no bails, not working. Wide open borders, as you mentioned, Ted Cruz. Gas prices record, record high. 41-year uh, inflation high, and we'll find out Thursday if it's official, if we're in a recession, although they want to change the definition of a recession. You would think they'd work on, on literally salvaging the mess that they've made rather than focusing on pronouns. Well, I, I mean, I think a lot of people would heed that advice, Sean, but perhaps they've just given up at this point because as you just laid out, what have the Democrats contributed in any way to Americans that has been positive? I mean, they have completely destroyed this country on every front and by every metric possible. So maybe this is all a distraction technique. Hold these cozy little functions at the White House and talk about pronouns in an effort to distract Americans from the reality of their everyday everyday situation, which is dire for most people at this point. Uh, but I do want to remind people of one thing. As bad as the Democrats have been, and as confident, I think, as Republicans are heading into these midterms, we can never take anything for granted. Well we said. have to make sure that people get out and vote and make sure you are voting for the right people. Know who you're voting for all the way down the ticket. We can leave nothing to chance. Last 30 seconds, Pam. Laura's exactly right in those down ballot races that we talk about all the time. The district attorneys, the mayors, all of these local races are the ones that are going to change our country as well as our congressional and Senate slate. And that's what's so important for our country right now. The Democrats are not focusing on this. They're trying to become as left and progressive as they possibly can be. And we're going to unite this country. And I think everyone should listen to Donald Trump's speech today from America First Policy Institute about the right, future Pam. of our country. All right, Pam, thank you. Laura, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.